Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I made, I hope you can see this, I think you can. See these little butterfly wings right here on this Believe card? Let's twirl it around here so you can kind of see how I made those. We're going to go over that today and I'm going to show you how I made this border and um, the different tools that I use. So let's get started. I am using the stamp set from Molly Stamps called Wings on Things Big. I use these butterfly wings and then the Believe. It also has really pretty angel wings and dragonfly wings and other sayings or sentiments. This is an awesome set to, to play with and um, I had fun making the wings. I started out with just clear, I think it's acetate or you probably can even use, use a transparency. Here, let me move that so you can see the, the butterfly wing. And um, it's the same stuff that I use for my clear cards from Graphics, G-R-A-F-I-X. I'll put it in my um, notes here on the video. And you just stamp the wing in this stays on opaque white paint. I know you've seen me stamp, so I didn't have you do that, or do that for you. And then you just cut it out with a scissors. And then what I did to make the wings flip up like this on my card, is I took my heat embossing tool which or gun, which I'm going to do right now. It's going to be a little loud at first, but you'll see how I have got the wings um, rounded. Just apply the heat and then push up when it gets a little hot. And you just keep doing this until you like how the wing is shaping. Starting to bend a little bit. There it goes. You'll see when I apply heat it goes back down. Then you just kind of hold it in place because it's a little warm and it bent up a little bit and then of course my wings have Prisma glitter on it I just took my glue, quickie glue pen and put glue a little bit of places it's a little, it's kind of like a just a regular pen you would write with just kind of scribble all over the wing and then I have my Prisma glitter in a case. Just sprinkle the glitter on and there you have your wing that you can put on your card. Now how I attached it to the card is I got a glue dot one of the little mini ones and I just rolled it, pulled it off here and I just kind of rolled it in my fingers so it would be, there you see I dropped it, there you go and I took the wing and just put it on the edge of the wing here kind of where the white opaque paint is. I'm getting glitter all over. That's the fun part about glitter and then I just stuck it on the card and there's one of the wings and that's how I made the wings on this card and then also many of you, oh, probably have already seen, but I wanted to show you just in case you haven't. I don't have an edge punch that does this, so I just used my corner rounder, took the guides off, and turn it over. And I'm going to do a couple of these for you. You punch one of your scallops, and then when you put this back in, you want to barely see where you punch that former scallop, and it'll make another scallop. And this just takes practice where you just barely see that edge. And if you goof up, just get another piece of paper. And you go once you go all the way across, it'll make that, that scallop row on here. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is I have been falling in love with these cuddle bug borders. And this is the one I used on this card. I don't know if you could see the little popped up kind of Swiss dots type thing. And that is from just my type and these are the different borders on this but you open up if I can it's not going to cooperate with me <laughs> open it up 
just slide your card in it before you're going to decorate it. Put it through your cuddle bug and you'll have an awesome border. So just wanted to show you those few little tips and tricks of how I made this card today. Have a good day and happy stamping!